So what's the difference between the new and the old AI scripts? Uh, the main difference is that now there is no more in-game editor, but we are using a powerful XML editor, in this case Visual Studio, or even the free version supports it uh, for our um, script commands. And uh, it comes with the various uh, well, convenience of being able to write scripts completely without having to have the game running. You have syntax highlighting, right? Syntax highlighting, um, also easy. Uh, option to find uh, mm -hmm. script commands and select them from a list and also uh, full documentation of that specific command so you know which, uh, which parameter means what, mm -hmm. what you can do and what is possible. Is it, is it actually possible to make a syntax error in, in such a script? Uh, not really, no, because uh, in this case we should immediately inform you that this doesn't conform to the rules and won't work. Mm -hmm. You can of course still do stupid things, <laughs> but uh, it will be code that will be possible to be run by the game. Yeah. So, how would, it, how would a normal script be structured? I mean, what is... It really depends a lot on what you are trying to do with it. Um, well, why do you guys think? Because we are recording a video. We are recording and a you're video and you are disturbing it. Yeah, well, now we have to cut you out. <laughs> no, no, that was a producer, just leave it in. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, like I said, it, it really depends for, for a simple combat script, for example. Um, you'd start with uh, the top section where any parameters that come in, be it the target that uh, the ship is supposed to shoot at, or any weapon configuration thing. So like signals are coming in, yeah. I mean that's that's an important point, that the, the, yes. the scripts are designed to respond to signals, that's, uh, isn't it's that a little bit similar to how MD scripts respond to events? In, in a big way, yes. Um, uh, all the actions in here, the, the individual script actions, can also react to events just like uh, the MD code can do that. Um, in addition, we have uh, some additional uh, tweaks that we can of obviously we can also run scripts, start new scripts, and pass in uh, certain parameters, be that objects or just functions mm -hmm. um, that we want to perform. And um, then in the script, of course, we can use them as uh, we want. Um, there are certain things, basically we have two kind of actions. Normal actions that happen immediately and for intents and purposes don't take time to run, just like a simple calculation, mm -hmm. and blocking actions, meaning they take time, like you tell a ship to move somewhere. Yeah, sure. It's a and little bit like in KC, uh, the language that we used for the old game, where you have synchronous and asynchronous calls from the point of view of the, of the script, the yeah. The one kind returns immediately and the other kind takes time. Exactly, and compared to uh, the previous games we have a much more powerful system of what should happen when such a time-consuming task uh, is, can be, or is interrupted or can be interrupted. You can send a ship anywhere and you can have it uh, stop that movement or can react in the script uh, when somebody shoots at it, when uh, um, something else in the vicinity explodes, uh, really all kinds of options to just make it do something but still be able to, to react to current events mm -hmm. or maybe it receives a signal to return home or anything. Uh, it's uh, very powerful to be able to define that in these individual actions or for the entire script on a global level um, so we can have some more um, general options that we don't want to define for every move bef uh, move command. Mm -hmm. We can then uh, control that on a global level. Okay. And and scripts are hierarchical, right? They they one you 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 or how do you integrate functionality from one script in another script? So basically, simply by just having the, the functionality you want that is in one script, you call it from another script. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's like a bit like a folder tree structure. You can have a script calling a script, calling a script, mm -hmm. and um, the script on the bottom, when, it, when it's done doing its thing, it returns to the previous one, mm -hmm. which resumes uh, its normal operations. And uh, this is used quite, ex quite extensively mm -hmm. throughout the scripting system.